Hi guys, um, I'm again fortunate enough to have uh, Tiziana with me today, and today we were just uh, we were just talking before doing this video about food and uh, the fact that um, Hippocrates once said uh, that um, let food be thy medicine and let yeah. thy medicine be thy food, right? Yes. So, um, you know, in Western medicine, we've become a bunch of pill pushers and uh, we see our patients and we give them a bunch of pills. And uh, really what patients want is they want to be empowered and they want to make changes to their lifestyle and in particular their nutrition. So whilst there are lots of diets, etc., I wanted to ask Tiziana, who's got, uh, who comes from a completely different background, Chinese medicine and acupuncture, about food and what constitutes healthy food. Uh, so can we talk about food? Because as you were saying just before we did this video, you said that, look, you know, I always ask about food. I always try and go back to basics. So what constitutes, what is good food? What is healthy food? So first of all, water. I always ask people, how much water do you drink? And most people don't drink enough water. So I say, please drink water, but not cold. From a Chinese medical perspective, uh, cold beverages and foods are not a good idea because they, we say, extinguish the fire, the stomach fire to make a chi and blood, let's say. So we don't want to upset that too much with cold food and drinks. So I prescribe just normal water, you know, to drink. So what you mean day. tap water or bottled water? What kind of water? Well, is? even filtered water, you know, if you have a, like a jug that filters even better. If you live in a place with good tap water, why not? You know, so just water. Okay, just water. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's fine. And then how much water do you think we should be drinking and how much do you think we are drinking? So it depends on the person. It depends on the physical activity, on the age, on the mm. constitution. But in general, your experience. A liter and a, we, we should need about a liter and a half or so. Per day. But again, yeah. it really does depend on the person. But do you think a lot of people don't drink that much? Mm, that's right, yeah. Right. Yeah, when they drink tea and coffee and they think it's the same as water. It's not really, because they're diuretics, if anything. So right. they actually make you lose water. So I don't, they don't really count. So we <laughs> should we should be drinking water, okay. What else? So again, going back to basics, uh, we need protein, mm -hmm. we need good fats. And by good fats, I mean olive oil, fish oils, um, avocados, coconut oil in moderation, even butter in moderation. Are there, what are, what are bad fats? Uh, well, hydrogenated fats, you know, like so margarine. Margarine. Mm, so margarine like. you think is, yeah. because you were saying that margarine is a little bit like Fast well, yeah, I remember uh, my first, um, one of my first chemistry um, lessons uh, when I started studying Chinese medicine in Australia, uh, our lecturer said, if you have a worst enemy, uh, please give them your tub of margarine if you still have some in the fridge. Really? Yeah. And I thought, okay, because he did say that it's very similar to plastic at a molecular level. So not a good idea. So uh, olive oil is fine. Mm -hmm. What about just vegetable oil? Is that okay? No. Uh, not really, not really. I what, would go, just go for, yeah. So whatever. what kind of cooking oil would you recommend? I mean, because a lot of people, places like Asia and India... Co coconut have, oil. Is coconut good oil, oil is, is good. good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so for particularly for Asians who might be watching this, they usually cook, you know, they cook spicy food. You can't, I mean, as far as I understand, and I don't know, yeah. but olive oil... Is not so good for curries and things. No, that's why coconut oil is better. Coconut isn't it? oil. That's part of, of the culture there as well. Okay. So it's yeah. Coconut Absolutely. oil. Yeah, right. olive oil. I suppose you know. I'm Italian, so I'm right. a little biased. Yes. For that. And yeah, but it's good for us. Okay, so we think margarine is bad. We think fish oils, coconut oil, olive oil is good. Mm, avocados. Avocado. Yeah. Okay. What else in terms of good food? What What else? Constitutes? So as I said, protein. Okay. What you are know, good sources you know, of, of protein? protein. So uh, fish and meat, but of course, if, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, you know, plant protein. And, what kind uh, of what kind of uh, tofu, tofu, soy, uh, not non genetically modified, I would say, and you know all the pulses, beans and and then nuts and seeds and yeah. They're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then anything else? Vegetables, so we... of course, particularly green leafy. Yeah. And because they have iron and they have mm -hmm, magnesium. Meat, magnesium which is sure. really important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about uh, things like, I mean, a lot of people are now becoming more intolerant um, of things like gluten. What is your insight into that? Yeah, I've noticed that. And uh, 
a gluten intolerance doesn't necessarily produce only gastrointestinal symptoms. It can produce aches and pains, a foggy head, all sorts of different symptoms. And you don't necessarily have to test for a celiac. You can just be gluten intolerant without even knowing. So right. Yeah. Yeah. So where where do what kind of foods have the most gluten in them? I mean, I'm just thinking for myself. If I yeah, like wheat has a lot. You know. But what kind of grains? Some. And when people are eating, so you know, what kind of bread? Bread, pasta, yeah, even pasta. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I sure. don't know. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. There's um, a pasta uh, made from wheat, especially. But luckily, uh, and I've seen in the supermarkets, you have pasta penne made out of um, uh, brown rice flour. So you're having rice in the form of pasta. You know, so that's a great way of eating rice. And is so, that is that how that's a, that's a gluten free? Yeah. So, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and how long, on average, do you find that if someone sort of chooses to reduce the amount of gluten, mm -hmm. do they start noticing a benefit? Yeah, a couple of weeks or so. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we would say to stay away for about three months. Okay. Um, that's more the domain of the nutritionist, but they they call it like the elimination diet. I think. We would say stay away from the offending, potentially offending foods for about three months, mm. and then you start to reintroduce them one by one slowly and see how your body reacts. Right. Yeah. What about uh, dairy? What do you think about dairy? Yeah, is dairy... a lot of people are intolerant. Not not only to uh, the lactose, which is the sugar in dairy, but also to casein, which is the protein in the dairy. So really? a lot of people say, "Oh, I buy lactose-free uh, milk." Mm. Um, but yeah, you have to be careful because it might not be the sugar in milk you you react to. It could be the actual protein, which is actually a big protein for for the gut to digest. So, what do you recommend? Because dairy plant. is everywhere. I know. Yeah, plant uh, milks. You know, so if you want to have your porridge, <clears throat> instead of uh, using cow's milk, you can use plant-based milk. What like yeah. almond milk? Almond or uh, oat milk, rice milk. I always ask people find the the milk that you like the most because for example I don't like rice milk but some people do and you know there's some nut milks as well hazelnut mm. um, cashew it depends I, I always say find something that resonates with you and obviously you're not intolerant to mm. so. that's really interesting mm. do you think dairy is a big problem is, is it is, it, is mm. it what is it about dairy I mean is it is it that is it what is being done to dairy products as well yeah also yeah a lot of processing and uh, and again you know when I started studying this in in Australia uh, our nutritionist uh, lecturer was saying actually if you think about it we are the only animal that has milk from another animal right right yeah. so because we are drinking cow's milk that's supposed to be for veal you know for yeah, little cow. Yeah. <laughs> Not, right and I, that made me think but yeah are you now Dairy free? I've, I've minimized. And in terms of cheese, for example, I, I tend to go for goat cheese or sheep cheese. Um, and again, most people tend to be more tolerant. Really? Uh, oh, interesting. Yeah. I've always wondered about dairy. Uh, mm. uh, that's Perhaps, interesting. Perhaps, yeah, you could discuss this a bit more in depth with Sally, the nutritionist. Mm, yeah, we can, we're going to plan, to we're planning to do a video with the nutritionist as well, so it'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay, so anything else? Any other insight in terms of food? Yeah. What are, what so uh, yeah, as I say, I try and keep things very very simple. Uh, going back to basics, with water, protein, good fats, vegetables, uh, some fruit like you know apples and berries, um, and then also looking at the offending foods like you know alcohol in moderation or not none at all, depending on the person and the symptoms. Caffeine again in moderation or none at all. So yeah. Are there any um, commonly available food products that you think are really bad for our health? I mean, I was really interested in margarine, but are there other things that you think to yourself, oh, that's really bad for our health and we're doing it? And you think that it's too processed, I would say, you know, really. And um, What kind of things are processed? As yeah, processed fried foods. and Fried foods. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, fried in all these oils and... Yeah, hydrogenated fats and foods with too much sugar, foods that have substitutes to sugar, um, you know, aspartame and the like, they're neurotoxic, actually. Yeah, aspartame, so, has, uh, mm. aspartame is sort of mm. uh, interesting, isn't it? And that's, yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, I know. So if you think that you're going diet soda, mm. and you think, oh, it's diet, it's no sugar, actually, that's really damaging. That's harmful as well, because mm. it's got aspartame in it. So mm. sodas you would recommend against? Yeah, I would. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, in, in the United States, they have a lot of products with high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. It's one of the worst, I think, one of the worst known foods ever for really? us humans. Yeah. What kind of food stuff has high fructose corn syrup in it? In the United States, a lot of the foods, even the ones where you don't think. Like, like could you give me some examples? Um, I've seen it in cereal. Okay. Yeah. And what about okay. in the UK? I think in Europe we're more strict with it. Right. Uh, I'm not exactly aware of the regulations, but it's either banned completely or restricted. Right. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, Thank that's goodness. really interesting. So, so that's something to look out for. Yeah. Okay, any other any other um, things that you could recommend? Um, yeah, that's that's basically it really. Um, a very sort of simple, wholesome diet. Fermented foods uh, are a good idea. And different cultures around the world have different types. Like, um, for example, I lived in Japan. So in Japan, you eat fermented soy in the form of miso for example, or natto. Um, in Korea, they have kimchi, fermented cabbage. Um, in other cultures, they have kefir, like fermented type of milk. Mm -hmm. So I think fermented foods are very good for our gut health right. as well. And you also mentioned probiotics. Mm -hmm. Could you just tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, for, to balance the gut flora. So I recommend probiotics to um, a lot of people, certainly to uh, people that have had to take antibiotics. Um, so say you've had to take antibiotics for a week, I would say please do take probiotics for a month after that to rebut because antibiotics they kill the bad guys but they also kill the good guys which are very very important for our mm. health, immunity etc. So we need to replenish those by taking probiotics. I mean uh, so for me um, if I went to go into t town today to buy a probiotic are there any particular probiotics which are yeah. yeah, what I'd say to people, get, go to a healthy store and ask the people working there, because they're quite knowledgeable, actually. Okay. And you buy them in the billions. They have to be in the billions, not millions. You need a lot of them. Really? It sounds like a lot, but actually we need... There, there are billions of them in our gut. Yeah. Um, so is Yakult... Is, is that so, thing? yeah, that's the thing. In, yeah, but you see, Yakult is dairy, it's cold... And so the principle behind it is correct. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, probiotics. But the means, and it, there aren't enough probiotics. As, as I say, to have a therapeutic dosage, you need you need them in the billions. So I always say, just get the capsules. Yeah. Okay, probiotic capsules. Yeah, yeah. And take them daily. Yeah, yeah. It's usually one capsule a day. So in terms of supplements, then what you're saying is that we were talking about this, weren't we? So probiotics are probably good mm -hmm. because we're probably Vitamin D, you were saying, was probably really important. There's yeah, if you live in a place with no sun. So. And then magnesium seems to work really well for a lot mm -hmm. of people with magnesium deficiency. And fish oils. And fish oils. Yeah, again, depending on the symptoms, particularly if somebody comes with pain, uh, there's some kind of inflammation there. And fish oils contain the omega-3s, which mm. are anti-inflammatory. So fish oils as well. So mm -hmm. in terms of a kind of, um, if you wanted to obviously work on your food, but there were kind of supplements you could take, mm -hmm. then you would generally recommend probiotic, magnesium, vitamin D, and fish oil. Fish oil. Yeah, depending on my patient's symptoms as well. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, maybe a good all-round multivitamin, multimineral okay. as well. Okay. Yeah. Really interesting. Really interesting. Yeah. I you. shall try this and <laughs> I'll come back to you. Thank you so okay. much. You're very welcome. Thank you. And uh, uh, Tiziana can be found on www. Yeah, yorktraditionalacupuncture.co.uk. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. All the best.